Hello, welcome to a new EskNow summary. Today we are introducing the Starbucks Experience, a book by Joseph Michelli. Do you know Starbucks? Starbucks Corporation is an international company devoted to purchasing, roasting and commercializing coffee. It sells espresso and distilled coffee, cold beverages, teas, accessories and other food products through its chain. It opened its first store in 1971 in just Seattle, United States of America and it currently has over 9,000 stores located in 34 countries. It is a company committed to offering its customers high-quality coffee and it contributes to the development of the productive coffee areas where it operates. Part of its economic income is allocated to social and environmental projects in such communities. During 18-month exploration into the world of Starbucks, listening to what leaders say and watching what they do, Michelli got to summarize in this work the core ideas that drive the special company in five principles to which he refers as, make it your own, everything matters, surprise and delight, embrace resistance and leave your mark. These principles may be applied by readers to other situations so as to foster their leadership capability in business, improve their workplace, develop new and attractive products, open new markets or to simply pay attention to aspects of their business that may be immediately improved. Principle 1. Make it your own. Today leaders want to have employees fully involved in their work, but sometimes employees do not realize how their efforts may help the organization to achieve success. Starbucks has made a great effort to have their partners commit themselves to their everyday work and in every work interaction, consistently and passionately. The core ideas are, be aware how to warmly welcome someone and how to create a comfortable atmosphere, be authentic connect, discover and answer, be considerate with everybody, with customers, critics, collaborators, managers, etc., have much knowledge be informed and improve your expertise in areas related to coffee and customer service and be involved do have active participation in the store, in the company and in the community. Principle 2, Everything Matters It is necessary to care for all the aspects related to coffee, the best quality product, the best customer service and the construction of a culture based on acknowledgement. Sometimes, a small detail marks the difference between failure and success, even details that customers cannot perceive. If details are not cared for, unsatisfied customers will invariably go somewhere else. Principle 3, Surprise and Delight The great idea implied in this principle is not new. Customers want to receive what is predictable and consistent, they want safety but also something to avoid boredom and escape from daily routine. A surprise may be something so simple such as offering a guide or helping people in their search for things that give them happiness, but it also has the power to create comfortable and reliable interpersonal relationships. Think of the answers you would give if you were asked, for example. How have you been surprised at your workplace? Are you able to surprise others with small gestures showing your esteem for them? What benefits do you consider may be achieved if your capability to create positive and unexpected experiences at your workplace improves? In short, what is predictable, what is consistent, what is a ritual, the community and the service are the keys. If you are able to make everyone working with you enjoy it, your company will undoubtedly be loved by others. Principle 4 Embrace resistance. This principle requires leaders who can tell between customers who want their inquiries to be solved and those individuals who never stop complaining and are really never satisfied. In order to embrace resistance, it is necessary to develop a set of complex skills that allow creating business and building interpersonal relationships even when you face situations tinged with excessive criticism, skepticism, annoyance and reserve. Principle 5 leave your mark. Successful business leaders have realized that a key matter to their success consists of leaving a mark, a powerful sign in their communities. People want to make business, to invest and work in companies having social awareness. Starbucks has developed a volunteer program aimed at helping employees to set ambitious goals and to develop managerial skills in order to make them come true. The necessary elements to achieve success in their volunteer initiatives are the same as those needed for business projects, to establish goals through teamwork, strategic planning, preparation of charts to show progress and skills to correct the course of action. 
Development of these skills, improved in volunteer environments, indirectly produces benefits at the workplace. Thus, Michelli shows us in a friendly and easy way the innovative and inspiring practices which differentiate this company and which probably may be applied to other businesses. We have introduced the main concepts of the book. To help you strengthen your learning, a practice drill will be available. You will also find a PDF file where the introduced concepts are expanded, and an application tool that will help you transfer them to the assignment, as well as the class on iPod video in MP3 format to be carried along. Thank you very much for your attention and we hope to have you in our next summary.